know you like that one. What's up you guys? Welcome to the channel. My name is Howard and I'm an Olympic badminton player. I have another tutorial today for you guys. If you're tired of bending over to pick up the shuttle every time from the ground, I'm gonna show you three ways to pick it up just using your racket instead. The scoop is the easiest and most common way most people pick up the shuttle. The first thing you wanna do is to make sure that the shuttle's in the right position. The shuttle needs to be vertical so that the cork is either pointing towards you or straight ahead away from you. You don't wanna have it pointing to your left or to your right. So you can use your racket to swivel it around until it's in the right position. Next, we wanna focus on how you're holding your racket and setting up. You want it to be in your backhand grip where your index and your thumb are kind of gripping the handle but you also want to make sure that you maintain a relaxed grip. It's not like you're trying to hit a smash or a power shot here. It tends to be easier when you're using the edge of the racket and not the complete side of the racket. So you're gonna start with the racket head pointed down in a diagonal towards the ground. The goal is to get the frame underneath the shuttle using the scooping motion. Notice I turn my racket head as I'm doing the scooping motion all together. Once you feel that you have the shuttle, you can increase the speed to bring the shuttle all the way up. Be careful though, because when you do the scoop, you don't wanna bang the racket into the ground or scrape along the ground too much. You can easily damage or scratch your racket. Next, we have the shuttle flip method. I don't usually use this technique. I think it's really just if you wanna show off a little. Style points if you wanna do this, but I wouldn't recommend this since you're literally hitting the feathers on the shuttle to make it hop up, and you can accidentally break the feathers on the shuttle if you completely miss, but you could also break your racket. The concept here is that you wanna brush over the feathers so that the shuttle flips. If you brush them quick enough, the shuttle will actually flip or jump up in the air, and then you can catch it with your racket. To start here, you want the shuttle cork pointing to the left and the feathers pointing to the right. You also want to be in your backhand grip again this time with the racket head in a flat position like a pan. With the racket head pointed down towards the ground, you're going to brush over the feathers from left to right in a quick sweeping U-shaped motion. The shuttle should pop up and then you can catch it with your racket. You can also do this in the other direction, but make sure you're brushing from the cork side over to the feather side, whichever direction you're going. Lastly, we have what I like to call the pinning technique. I've seen tennis players pick up the tennis ball this way where they lodge the tennis ball in between the side of the shoe and the racket. Since I'm right-handed, I'll line the side of the shuttle up with my right shoe. You don't want the shuttle cork to be facing the left or the right here. You want the cork to be facing up or down. You want the cork facing up or down so that the feathers are flat against the side of your shoe. Once you have the shuttle pinned with a little pressure, you're gonna bring your foot and your racket up at the same time. The key is to make sure that the racket and the foot are going up simultaneously. If you do it with a little speed, you'll be able to throw the shuttle up in the air and then you can catch it. Now you know three new ways of picking up the shuttle without having to bend over and pick it up with your hands. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other cool ways of picking up the shuttle and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.